What's up guys, Omega here and welcome back to GT7 for another lap guide. This one bringing us to Laguna Seca in the Group 4 cars. Today we're going to be using the Mazda 3. This car does definitely seem to be a little bit OP. It was the go-to car last week and it seems that it is the same for this week. So to get the best time, you probably want to be using this car. We're on the soft tires and we have brake balance available, no tuning in this one. So let's just get straight into it. We're running a plus five brake balance for this one and starting your lap, you just start before the final corner onto the start finish line. And as always, you just want to get a good run over the start finish line. You just rev this car out. You don't need a short shift. And as we're coming towards the line, try to stick towards the left-hand side of the track. And as it goes up over the hill, you can also cut a little bit of this green. And as you go over the hill, you want to get the car over to the right-hand side for this first hairpin. And then we want to be braking just before we hit this line where the three board is. On the brakes, I go down to second gear and I hold a very small amount of braking input to help the car to turn. Shift back up to third about midway through the corner and then back on the power using the full available runoff on the right right hand side and now let the car go over to the left hand side of the track for this next right hander and my braking reference for this one is going to be just after this two board on the left hand side probably closer to where the sand changes color shifting down to third gear and similar to the first corner I am maintaining just a little bit of brake and with the car in a higher gear and using this plus five brake balance I think this helps the car turn a bit better otherwise you do experience a lot of understeer with this car and getting back on the power as we pass this sausage again using the full available runoff on the left keeping the car to the left hand side Side. And for our braking reference, we're looking for the one board on the left, braking just before we hit it. And not much braking input here, just like a little stab of about half brake, kind of unsettle the car and try to point the nose in towards the apex on the right hand side. Leave the car in fourth gear. And as long as you have the rotation correct, you should be able to be back on the power at the time you hit the curb on the inside, around where the red paint starts for this curb. And again, using all the available runoff on the left. And then getting the car over to the right hand side for this next left hander. And for this one, I'm braking shortly after I go past the three board on the right hand side shifting down to third gear very similar thing here again with the braking just holding a tiny bit on so that the car will rotate and then we're back on the power as we go past this sausage and then flat out up to the kink and what we're looking for as our braking reference for this one is the two board on the right hand side leave the car in fourth and i give the brakes a good stab to try and force the rotation towards the inside apex using all of the available runoff even the green stuff and the curb so you can maintain a lot of speed through there and carry that up the hill towards the corkscrew keep the car kind of to the left as you make your way up the hill and then over to the right and for our braking reference we're looking for the three board and the line on the road we want to be on the brakes a little bit before that and take a chunk out of the curb on the right hand side to widen your entry into the corkscrew shifting all the way down to second gear hard on the brakes turn the car in and take a big chunk out of the inside apex on the left as we hit it shift the car back up into third gear and as we leave that curb back on the power and we don't need to worry too much about stamping on the power down here apart from understeer but the car is not going to kick out like as if we were in an FR or MR vehicle. Take a big chunk of the curb on the right and hold your steering to the right coming out of it because we want the car over to the right hand side as much as possible. And as I go under the bridge, I shift up to fourth gear because I feel like the car rotates much better in the higher gears. Just a little stab of the brakes to turn the nose of the car in. And I get back on the power well before I hit this apex just to maintain the speed. I do give it a bit of a lift and let the car coast a little bit. And now you don't have to take the corner like this. I'm lining up this sausage. Now this can be deadly to your lap but you can take them you've just got to try and get the sausage basically dead center in the middle of the car and as i hit this curb i'm back on the power and even if you don't take the sausage it'll still be the same thing basically you just may not be able to carry as much speed or you'll just run out a little bit wider on the exit and now we want the car over to the left hand side of the track for the second to last corner and what we're looking for here is where the dirt starts on the left or just before the two board whichever reference you would like to use leave the car in fourth gear and aim it towards the inside apex back on the power as we go past this sausage on the right and then getting the car over to the right hand side for the last corner and we're braking at the three board get the car up on the curb braking starting to turn in and coming off the curb just before you hit the one board and i actually shift down to first gear to help with a bit of rotation back up to second gear before i hit the inside apex be careful of the sausage clip the inside apex back on the power as i'm coming off the apex use the curb and the green stuff as your runoff to use as much track width as possible and then flat to the line kind of heading towards the left hand side again and that one's good for a one 125.990 so if you got any value out of today's video let me know by dropping a like on it and subscribe to the channel i have shared my ghost for those of you who are interested just look for the tag omega and you can load that and watch it or use it as your ghost and what i'll do now is i'll play that back in full speed so you can see the lap in real time thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one cheers